Were you inspired as an MC by this at all? Yeah, I was. You ain't just saying this because we on camera. <laughs> no, no, no. Because like I told you, like I told you, I say, yo, I love the locks. And I'm like, yo, they're going to come in here and they're going to do this old boy stuff. And, you know, horse and carriage, all the smooth shit. And people go, all the people in Manhattan going to love the fly shit. And they be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? And I thought that was, that's what was going to happen to the lock. So it taught me something, bro. Like, this nah. shit taught me something. You stick nah, to know. what you know. Yep. And you know what I'm saying? You go for what you know and you motherfucking empty your clip, man. It's like, shit, I'm just, like that's, that's the shit I'll be trying to live by. Himself. Like, honestly. What you he say, Ray? I said Jada could have beat all the niggas all by himself. He didn't even need no help. Now, it seems almost really, like he, like he was just really, running the show. He was really on some Kevin Durant. Like, it was a team win, but he mm-hmm. really did Jordan them niggas. Like, on yeah. something like, hold on, give me the ball. Fuck this exactly. shit. Exactly. I got he was so cl- He was so clear. Yeah. He was so, like... <laughs> Everything he did was just like, like, just, just it perfect. It was all like, perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really though. Really though. Yeah. Like the niggas, all of the jokes, all of that yeah. shit. Like he had the line, like, no, no yeah. niggas that go to jail just to, just, just to get, get their the teeth fixed and pointed at you. Pointed at you else. I'm sorry, I even brought that up. I ain't, even, I ain't mean to bring that. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see memes about that joint too. Come yeah, look, 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 look. look. The memes is ridiculous, and people. My man was telling me that these shits is the worst ever, right? He feel like it's a conspiracy against Dipset. I'm like, son, listen. The, the Teddy Riley memes was some of the worst. Shit. Like, oh, like niggas killed Teddy right. Riley for a minute until the next verses. Whoever yeah. that niggas, niggas just need a new verses, and then they yeah, need to be off. Wipe it away. Yeah. Right, <laughs> new verses to be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it they be good. Now, I'm oh, about to man. say something crazy right now, too. What happened? Right? I'm about to say something crazy right now. You about to yeah. say something crazy? Yeah, because I, I heard something. Listen, I heard KRS One saying something about the verses and battling and shit. And he was like, yo, he's like, he he will eat anybody. Jay Z, Big Daddy Kane, don't matter about nobody. And I'm like, yo, Karis, I'm like, Karis one is nice, but this shit ain't gonna be no acapella type shit and all that shit. I'm like, Jay Z, but after this versus, it's like, damn, what if? Well, I'm like, yo. I thought they were in talks about KRS one battling somebody. He who said he won't who? battle nobody except for Nas, man. He said who? He said Nas is the only one he think got something for him, man. Nice. Well, Karen yeah. once said something about he got 30 know. albums. He's like, who's got 30 albums? I think he said 30 or something yeah, like that. Something like He's that. like, like 30? He might have said 50. I don't know. But, but it was a but he said Kane ain't got nothing for him. They brought up LLL ain't got nothing for him. They, somebody hey, mentioned Jay-Z that in the interview. The somebody brought up Jay-Z in the reason like, Jay-Z he got hits. And but when it comes to this, you know what I'm saying? I would do this. He said the only person he think got something for him is not. Look, a lot of people well, have been L-L, asking. LL would would wipe uh, uh, KRS One. Oh my yeah. Lord, Jesus, right? Come I'm on, now. Serious. you're saying crazy things. Oh, I'm oh, dead serious. <laughs> that no, is I'm, not I'm, true. Why do you think that ain't possible? That is uh, not uh, true. LL would be on stage, hype, in shape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got hella up in the like, floor, talk about something records. like a phenomenon. So <laughs> yeah, like, like, like that's yeah, cool. hella popular records. This ain't nah, this type like, of thing. This ain't like this type of battle, bro. That could be the same. That that could have be the same dipset locks type effect with KRS One bring them bars and LL bring all that swag. You know what I'm saying? It's, but it's LL a, got hard records though. I mean, so do Dipset. All right, so when you guys want to start your own side hustle, your own business, whatever it is that you guys want to do, people are going to call it your little business, right? They're going to call it your little business, your little side hustle, but that's okay. When I wanted to start my own hair care line, someone told me, aren't there already hair care lines out? When I wanted to start selling courses, people told me that's all you do is sell stuff on the internet. And when I decided to buy rental properties instead of investing in my own personal house, people told me that you don't own a home, you own houses. So people are always going to have something negative to say but it does not matter what they're really doing is projecting their insecurities onto you right they really want to be in the position that you're in to have that faith in yourself to um accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish owning my own business outweighs the benefits of me going back to a nine to five so there's no reason to give up 
This is Miles the Nation Jade, and I think you should start your journey to financial freedom right now. So go to the website that you see here, or click the link in the description below, or find me on IG and click the link in my bio, Exotic Jade Eyes. Right. Like when I tuned hey, into I don't the- know Cause like I when I tuned into the though. dip set, when I tuned into the verses, they was playing my favorite dip set record. And that was Get Crunk Music. Like that's, yeah. like that shit is hard, my nigga. Like I redid that song on one of my mixtapes, on the Shell Shock mixtape and shit. And I didn't just take the beat. Like I took yeah. the cadence and all of that. When I do that, I really fuck with the record. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that shit was my shit. I came, I, I'm like, when I, somebody sent me the link, oh, the verse is on, I clicked on it. They was in the middle of doing that shit. I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right. It's about to be something, all right, all right. And, but it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was like, like the, the locks rebuttal game is on a thousand. Yeah. Like they rebuttal game is crazy. You say something, y'all don't, don't got no records for girls. Hold on, play these records. Y'all don't got no lot of lot of niggas play the New York record. He played his New York record. I'm like, oh my goodness. These niggas are wild. Yeah, man. These niggas is wild. I mean, it's all entertaining for sure. And that's what I'm yeah, saying. Man. Like, yo. It's definitely entertaining. Cam Saw had Jay-Z on it. It ain't hit like it was supposed to hit. I know, but Cam did. But Cam couldn't do his verse. He he couldn't do Jay Z verse. He had to do his verse. Yeah, but none of them wasn't doing that. It's like Jada Kiss ain't need Fat Joe and Ja Rule verse. He That's just the needed point. his verse against his That's verse. The point, which brings it back to the original. Jada is a better rapper. No, you but I'm saying I'm that? talking about as far as the crowd. Like when you hear I a know. big song, you you know the crowd like oh. Them yeah. joints ain't hit like they that. Went, oh, they, went, they went oh when when I'm from New York when when, when um welcome to yeah, New York yeah. came on. They went oh they reacted, but it was like Jada kiss well, his, his rebuttal game is like oh you did wasn't that. Wasn't it like I'm do wasn't, this? Wasn't it like, like oh. Cam, was, didn't it feel like Cam New York set Jada's New York up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Like it was the like it was the hype man <laughs> like for this New York. Like that's crazy. <laughs> And it wasn't supposed to feel like that. That's what I'm saying. That song was a big song when it was out the camera. Yeah. I mean, that's one too, though. Listen, but that song was like, this, yeah. though, but volume, volume does play a part in that too, I think. Like when I heard the, like if you, like if you, you, you be in a club, like even with our shit back in the days when we be in a club, I used to feel the way because I felt like our music would play lower than other niggas shit. And I would think that the DJs was trying to play us until I realized that was the engineering and the mastering. You know what I'm saying? I was ready to beat up every club, every DJ who DJed at a club in New York at some point until I found that out. I'm like, how they turn this shit down when they play my shit? Mad nigga with the fire <laughs> in my face. Like, the fuck, we? I just needed to learn some shit. That's it. Yeah. Well, it has something to do with the bass and the compression of the record when you. Here we go, it. hard hat and snare ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, Here so Shlang, look, 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 look. I've been getting this question a lot. I mean, and not just, not just recently, it been happening, but more, re- but, but a lot since this last verses. Who should the boot camp versus? And Yo, I'm like, this is the ring wonder, man. Telling you to send your songs into the Monster Monday podcast for ninety nine ninety nine. You can have your song played for Rock the Critique, DJ Wreck the Play, and me to listen to, man. All right, and plus we're gonna share it with all the other people on motherfucking Black Entertainment. I mean Black League Entertainment, man. All right, that's ten shows, bro. That's ten shows. So send your joints in now, cause November first is gonna be the first time we play the song of the week, man. All right, Monster Mondays. That's Mondays with a D A Y Z at it, man. Cash app us right there, bro. All right, for life. Listening to Monster Mondays podcast. Please join us every Monday from eight to ten p.m. West Coast time and eleven to one a.m. East Coast time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday on the Dash app. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious vinyl radio station.